what's going on youtube jeans here hope you guys are having an amazing day today we are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for pokemon sword and pokemon shield in today's video we are bringing you guys an absolute banger of a rental code for master tier we're rocking out with a assassin and kyro team that also features swift swim kingdra and solar power charizard you guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that. Click that big red subscribe button and join the Genius community. But before we get started with today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, my boy Matt, sending me this team over on my Twitter page. If you guys want to send me rental codes, go follow my Twitter page. Link is down in the description below. It's at Genius YouTube on Twitter. Go DM me. Go tweet at me. I've been messaging people back on that. So if you guys want to stay up to date on content and send me rental codes, go head over to that Twitter page. But let's get started here with today's team preview with Kai Ogre in that top left corner. One of the best restricted mods in the game. You guys already know that. We got Drizzle alongside with the Mystic Water as its item and ability. Then we're rocking Water Spout, Ice Beam, Thunder, and Protect. Just a, and that's just a normal move set for Kai Ogre. Second one is going to be Zassian. We have Interpret Sword, Rusted Sword as item and ability. And this Zassian is a little bit different. We have a Swords Dance Zassian with Substitute. So if we get Swords Dance set up on this, bruh. Bruh, that could be that could be huge. That could be huge. But we're rocking Iron Head, Sacred Sword, Sword Stance, and Substitute for its moveset. Middle left is going to be Charizard. Charizard's going to pair up perfectly with the Sableye on our team because Sableye can drop the Sun and get rolling from there. We got Solar Power alongside with the Extra Belt as item and ability. Then we're rocking Weather Ball, Hurricane, Scorching Sands, and Protect. One thing I would want with this Charizard is I, it, it might not be G Max, but still, I like its G Max move. That's the only thing I would change to get that thing like Heat Wave or something like that, just to turn it into G Max Wildfire when Dynamax. Second put or fourth Pokemon. Well, I was going to say second Pokemon, but fourth Pokemon on squad is going to be Venusaur over here with Chlorophyll and Koba Berry. Doubles its speed in the rain. We got Sleep Powder, Frenzy Plan for a big stab move, Weather Ball, and then last but not least, we are rocking that Protect. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Kingdra. Kingdra is a top tier rain Pokemon. It's got Swift Swim, it's got Life Orb, and it is a great Dynamax Pokemon. It has a great move set of Outrage, Bounce, Waterfall, and Icy Wind. All four different moves get to get rolling in Dynamax form. So you can change weather with Waterfall or Ice Wind. You can get Speed Control with Max Airstream, or you can get that Attack Drop with that uh, Max Form 1. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be our support Pokemon. That is going to be this lovely little Sableye over here. Prankster and Focus Hatch with Quash, Ally Switch, Sunny Day to set the Drought. And then last but not least, we got Helping Hand to make Ally Pokemon do more damage. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Kyogre, Zacian, Rain, and Sun team. Let's get rolling here in battle number one, ladies and gentlemen. Going up against a Kai Ogre and Shadow Rider Kyler team with a bunch of cool Pokemon. Araquanid, Mel and Didi, Arctozole, and then last but not least, Gastron. Storm Gen Gastron, which we're definitely going to have to watch out for. So I might just bring the Sun Squad instead. I'm feeling Venusaur and Sableye, maybe just for me. I feel like that could be solid. And just saying, screw Kai Ogre and Kingdra and not bring them in at all. Right? That does sound pretty good. It does sound really good. Because with Sableye, I can constantly just like change weather, change weather, change weather, and kind of just roll off from there. So I might actually go here, here. And then, uh, let me see this boy right here. Is this G-Max Charizard? Is it? I don't think... Oh, yes, it is. It is G-Max But without... It's G-Max move. That's rough. That is rough for us. But I still definitely want to bring him. Because, you know, he's just an absolute menace to society out there. <laughs> With the sun, he's just a menace. But I'm going to lead these two. I'm going to bring uh, Charizard in the back. And then Zacian in the back. And I just feel like it is our best bet, right? Definitely our best bet. I do dig it. I do dig it. Or we can go... Which I'm leaning a bit towards now is Charizard, Kingdra, or not Kingdra, not Kingdra. Charizard, Venusaur in the back end, and Zacian. Yeah, I want to lead the Charizard. I want to lead the Charizard over to Venusaur because I feel like Venusaur would be better without Dynamax, and we get Dynamax Charizard because you know Venusaur comes out there in the sun. He can just sleep out and kind of just go from there. You know, he's a he's a menace with sleep out. He is an absolute menace because he just landed. Him. He's like, yo, you go to sleep, you go to sleep, you go to sleep. All that good stuff. All that good stuff. Let's see what our, how our opponent's going to play this one. Going to end up throwing out a Raquidate and Gastron. Should have led the <laughs> should have led the Venusaur, dude. Should have led the Venusaur, but I just still feel like a Dynamax is a great call for us. Uh, we could out. We could Quash. I don't think we... I don't think we just helping hand here. I don't think we have to set the Sun. I don't think we have to set the Sun. And then we could just go straight for this. Take out a Raquidate. With this all day. We'll take out a Raquidate. We're gonna, we'll get a little bit of speed here. And then we'll Sunny Day when we have to. But right now, we don't have to. Right now, we just don't have to. We already have speed. He's two very slow Pokemon, so I'm chilling with this. I'm definitely chilling with this. But we're going to Dynamax Charizard. We're going to get buzzed with that. We're going to get buzzed with that. And plus, we if we don't have to take uh, solar power damage, why, why would we? Why would we? There's just no need for it. We should be able to take out this Raccoonid with just a helping hand. Kind of I am thriving with that. Unless he's not Dynamaxing that uh, Gastron, which I wouldn't. I don't see him doing. 
then we should be fine. He might protect it. Let's see what he does. He's Dynamaxed somebody. Oh, here we go. Now we have a problem. Is he gonna be a Raquinid? Is he gonna be a Raquinid? Who is this? Gaston? <laughs> Dude, yo, what did I just say? I said, as long as he doesn't Dynamax his Gaston, we should be fine. But he Dynamax his Gaston. He Dynamax his Gaston. Okay. Let's see how this one plays out. Helping hands can come through here. Charizard's gonna go first. We're gonna take speed. And plus, we still have Venus from the back end with Shotgun Frenzy Plant and rip on that Gaston. We're gonna send this this way, and this should just dump one, right? Yeah, get him on out here. Get him on out of here. Solid first turn. He's probably gonna guys into my Charizard. And we're gonna we're just gonna hope that Charizard can eat this up, but no, I don't know, man. I do not know, dude. Charizard doesn't eat up much. Doesn't eat up much. Here comes the guys, right? Ah, leave me alone. Guys are coming coming in hot. Eat this up. Eat this up, Char. I love you. I love you. We're gonna set the rain. We're gonna change the weather. We're gonna change it to uh we change just the sun. Do I change it to the sun or do I just helping hand and keep constantly going after that? Because he's gonna target down my Charizard again. And I know once I get out my Venusaur, I can legit just frenzy plant and dump on that. But now nah, you know we're gonna go for that sunny day. Change up the weather. Yeah, change up the weather's gonna be fun. I could just quake. Get that special defense boost. Yeah, I'm digging that. We'll take the solar power. We're gonna quake over into Arctic Zone. We're gonna roll from there. Sunny day poking. Ah, oh, send it, yo. No more rain. Get it on out my face. Charizard doesn't like the rain, so we changed it. Look at that Arctic Zone. Shivering. Shivering in the sun. Charizard's gonna go next. We're just gonna quake. This should just be able to easily handle that little little booger right there, right? Get him on out of here. Yeah, yo, Charizard. I, he's ripping. He's ripping out here. He's ripping out here. Gaston, I'm not worried about. Like, even if he's Dynamax. Like I said, I just bring out Venus for next turn. And I, I could change the weather if we need to. And I could just send a frenzy plant and dump on that thing, no problem. Probably gonna geyser again. Oh no, he's gonna quake. That's fine. He's gonna quake into my boy right there. Thinking I was guarding, maybe. No, yo, we're not about that. So we keep the sun. We keep the sun. And at this point, I could just ally switch. But the thing is, I want to keep my Charizard alive. I do want to keep my Charizard alive. Or not my Charizard, my Sableye alive. Even though without the sun, I'm totally fine with, uh. Even without the sun. Oh, he's gonna change it right now. But just helping hand and go after that Kyogre. I think it's gonna be my play. Helping hand and, uh, airstream into that Kyogre. Not my best bet. Because the Gastro, I'm just, I'm just, there's just nothing to worry about with the Gastro. There's nothing to worry about. Hopefully this Kyogre isn't Choice Scarf, because if he's Choice Scarf, he's gonna ask. We're just gonna be cutting it close. We are plus one. The helping hand's gonna come out here first, obviously, because Prankster, and please do not be Choice. Cool. Cool, cool, Airstream's gonna come out here. This should do a decent amount of damage. I don't think it's gonna KO, but still should do a decent amount. Wow, actually a lot less than I thought it would. A lot less. So he's gonna be able to easily pick up that double kill. Now I'm sitting here a little scared. I'm sitting here a little scared here. Not, not gonna not gonna lie. Origin Pulse gonna fly here through here. That's an easy double kill. It's an easy double kill. And maybe I should have changed up the weather, went for a sunny day, but I think this thing is gonna go for a geyser. Dude, we should have changed up the weather. Wow, dude, we could have had weather control all day. We could have had weather all day. Because the geyser wouldn't have came out. Oh, we could have had weather all day. But uh, yeah, we got to go in the Zacian. We got to go in the Venus run. We're posing two decent threats here. Posing two decent threats. But I'm not worried about the Gastro too much. I really am not. Zacian should be fastest on the field. And I'm thinking of just doubling down into him. Into a Kyogre. What do I do here? The rain's terrifying. The rain is terrifying. The rain is terrifying. We can take out what's called no problem. We can take out Gastro, no problem, but I do not want to drop a Frenzy Plant just in case, uh, just in case, uh, something happens. Could sub up. But you know what? Nah, we're going to go for Sacred Sword, and I think I'm just going to put this thing to sleep. It's going to be my play. We're going to put the Gastro on sleep, and we're going to Sacred Sword here. That is my lovely little plan. Sacred Sword's going to fly through here. Uh, he'd send it. And, oh my god, was that a crit? No, we just dumped on that. That, that. that was huge. I did not think we were going to be able to kill it with just a Sacred Sword. So, if I would have known that, I would have just Frenzy Plant into Gashon. But that's GG's. That is GG's. Your boy is thriving in battle number one. Big time victory. I am just going to protect with my uh, Zacian because I want to kill this thing with a Frenzy Plant. But, yo, imagine, like, this guy brought in, uh, what's it called? I'm just going to go for some Zance. But this guy brought in Gashon, Dynamax him, went all those turns. We haven't touched him yet. And now we're just finishing him off. That's how much he got no value out of his Gashon at all. But we're going to sword Sands here just for the heck of it. Because I want to kill this Gashdown with this lovely little uh, Frenzy Plant. And then we're just going to go from there. Because Frenzy Plant looks cool. Did we miss? Oh, no. It has the Rindo Berry. It has the Rindo Berry. But I think we can still KO here. Look at this. That's a big damage. That's a big damage. 
some big damage. Wow, dude, that Rindo Barry could have came in clutch. Definitely could have came in clutch. <laughs> but we get some big damage off there. I'll just have my Zassian finish this one off. That's going to be GG's. That is going to be GG's. Can't believe this guy has canceled yet. There it is. What a way to get this video started with a big fat W. We're hopping into our second battle, and it'd be even better if we can get two big fat Ws. So we're looking to do that. We're going up against a Groudon team and Zassian with Incineroar, Rillaboom, Rotom Heat, and Grimstone. So heavy meta squad right here. Hopefully we can roll after it. Hopefully, hopefully we can get some work done. But I feel like the rain squad could just get some work done, right? The rain squad is sounding beautiful. It is sounding lovely. So I'm thinking of leading like a... Do I lead Kyogre and Kingdra? Or do I just lead Kingdra and maybe like a Pokemon like Zacian? And then bring Kyogre in the back end. Just so we can hard swap out and kind of just roll. I do dig that. I do dig that. I do like that. So you know what? That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to roll with them two. And Kingdra. And then last but not least, do we bring Venusaur? I feel like Venusaur would be the better option here. Just in case. Or Charizard. Venusaur or Charizard? i got to bring either or. I think, I think Venusaur would be a tad bit better. It's not rocking a ground move. That's our problem. This thing is at least rocking a ground move. Yeah, you know, we're going to roll in the Charizard, dude. We got Weather Ball. We got a lot of different options here. I'm, I'm rolling the Charizard. That's my final Pokemon. Let's lock it in. Or let's lock it down. Let's lock it in. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. But yeah, dude, G-Max Charizard did good in that last battle. But still, that's one thing I wish we could have had was G-Max Wildfire. Because you guys know the Wildfire damage is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Same thing with the, uh, the G-Max Fine Lash damage. And the G-Max Candy Aid. All the Gen 1 starters, G-Max moves are top tier. They're top tier because over the four turns, they do like over half damage. Which is insane. You only have to touch a Pokemon and they're already down close to red into the yellow. It's just it's just insane. It's just insane. But let's see who this guy uh, ends up going into. We'll see how we should play it. Make a move, dude. He's going to toss out Rotom and Robin. Okay, I'm cool with Rotom and Robin. Because I got Kingdra and Zassian out on the field. Something I, 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 I dig. I think, and I feel like we could just Dynamax and kind of do this on our own, right? I think we just Dynamax Kingdra, even without the rain. And we can just, we could just Airstream if we want to, which I'm really, I'm leaning towards. I'm leaning towards the Airstream 100%. Maybe just, uh, maybe just subbing here if we can. Subbing does sound good. If we can sub up turn one, that could be lovely. Sub does sound gorgeous, because he might swap that Rotom. I'm just going to Airstream here. I'm just going to go for the sub. Gonna go for the sub. I feel like Zacian's one of those Pokemon that he doesn't need Sword Dance because he gets plus one, so I'd rather have Protect. But Sword Dance is still cool. It's still cool because it's something we don't ever see with the Zacian. It's actually good that we can't Protect Zacian because I feel like every time I do Protect Zacian, it gets hard red, you know? Zacian is just one of those Pokemon that everybody knows that you're gonna go, uh, go into a Protect. But we're gonna hope that maybe it protects the Rotom or does something along those lines. That we can just like get a free turn off with Kingdra. Kind of roll off from here. I would love to get off the sub. If we can get off the sub suit, that could be easy. But we're going to end up Dynamaxing. We're not going to swap weather just yet. Right now, we we, we're not, we don't really need it. We don't really need it. Uh, so I'm just waiting my turn. I'm going I'm to waste it out. Hopefully, he'll bring in Groudon, and then I can get the extra swap in after that. That's just huge. That's just huge. That's a, that's a, what the, the name of the game is with uh, weather teams. It's like, yo, who's going to who's gonna outweigh who? That really That is really what it comes down to. But he's going to end up Dynamaxing as well. And now I'm a little scared. Now I'm definitely a little scared here. It's gonna Dynamax that Rotom, right? Or is it gonna be really? It's gonna be Rotom. So Rotom gets the Dynamax. He's probably gonna drop some lightnings. He's gonna do all those cool things. He might probably drop a flare and get leather rolling. And in that case, I'm just going to uh swap in the Kyogre and I'm gonna go after him next turn. If that's the case. We'll see what he does. Is he gonna fake me out? Don't fake me out. Leave me alone. He's gonna just straight up grass guy. Okay, cool. So we can get off a sub here. That's lovely. So we might be able to eat up this flare. We might be able to eat up this flare. It's a huge turn for us. It's a huge turn for us. Big time getting off our sub. We're going to take some speed here as well. And we're going to roll from there. So if he goes for the flare into my Zacian, I'm totally cool with that. I'm totally cool with that. Because A, we waste out a Dynamax turn. And then B, I can swap him into Kai over and just get after that run time. I like that nice, lovely speed boost there. Let's see what he goes for here. Is it the flare? It is the flare. I'm cool with that. Sub is soaking that up. Swap out Zacian. Have him for the back end for later action. That's totally cool. That is totally cool. Cause this just shows that like he's willingly like wanting to stay in with this uh with this real time. But the grassy guide is scaring me. Is he gonna go into a grassy guide into my uh into my Zassian? I don't think so. I just don't see that happening, right? Into my Zassian slot, because that's the only problem if we swap. But I'm just gonna go for the geyser. I am going to swap into the Kyogre here. I just think it's a I think it's a play. 
But yeah, that, that would be the only problem. Like, yo, he goes into that, he stays into that grass slot, into the Kyogre slot. Kyogre probably just gets something on. But I think he's going to switch it into the Kingdra slot. Just seeing how much damage he just got off. It was legit like nothing. So we'll see what he wants to do. He's definitely thinking. He's definitely struggling here. He's definitely struggling to think. Of a know what he wants to do. But I was kind of hoping he was like maybe changing terrain. Because, <laughs> you know, the grassy terrain is just so good. It's just so good. Yeah, I, I really don't see him going into a grassy guy into the Zacian slot. I would be upset, but let's see what he does. We shall see. So we're going to swap Zacian. We're going to bring out the ogre. And we're going to get that rain rolling. We're going to get that rain rolling. Please, no grassy guide. Please, have mercy. Have mercy. You can grass guide into my Kingdra, just not into my Kyogre. Let's see what it does. No withdraw. Okay, don't you dare be that ground on. Don't you dare be that ground on. Did you just read me hard? What a read. What a read. I'll give it to him all day. What a read. What a, what a phenomenal read. What a phenomenal read. I'll give it to him all day. If that was his plan, that was, that was a really good read. That's a really, really good read. But we're going to guys are still chip up some damage onto that uh, Rotom. That's fine. Let's see what he does. Hopefully, he's not dropping a flare. Or if he is making this read, then he's going for a late. Which would be crazy. Which would be insane. My Kyogre 8, but wow. But wow is all I have to say. But wow is all I have to say. What a play. I I have never seen a play like that. That was insane. That was insane. Uh, we're going to have to Ice Beam here. Ice Beam is a little bit better for us. I would rather Origin Pulse, but we don't have it. We do not have it. We have Water Spell. And we're low HP, but wow. What an absolute god tier play. That was an amazing play. Especially if you would have picked up the KO onto my uh, Kyogre. That, was, that, was, that play was just insane. But well, we'll see what he does here. Shall see what he does. My Kingdra is plus one regardless of the rain or not. So we should be able to outspeed pretty much most Pokemon on the field. And then we still have the Charizard in the back end if he wants to change up weather later. But even Charizard without the weather is still a solid Pokemon. Only very, very solid. So we'll see what he does. He's going to end up withdrawing you. And Ice Beam's flying, so hopefully he's going into Robin. He's going to go back into Robin. Let's go. Let's go. I'll take that all day. Because I think this Ice Beam should be able to take him out. And then we can kind of just go off from there. And if I had to guess, he's probably Max Guard in the Rotom. Is that what he's doing? He does not. Wow, he doesn't guard the Rotom. He does not guard the Rotom. So, guys, going to fly through here, and I think it's KOs, right? It's going to be kind of close. It does. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. We get a crit. I think it was killing him regardless. That's big time KO. And now this Ice Beam flies over, and this might pick up another KO. But he's here just to change up weather, but he doesn't realize I have my boy Charizard at the back end. But Charizard's definitely going to be coming in a clutch. He's definitely going to be coming in a clutch. Ice Beam's going to fly. Yeah, eat. Send it this way. And can we take him out? Let's go. Let's go. Big time Ice Beam. Good thing I did go into that HP over the over the water spout. Well, the only reason I didn't use water spout is because we were low HP and we didn't have origin pulse. So ice beam was like our last ditch effort. We we're just like we have to go into ice beam and it worked out perfectly for us. So two big KOs there. He's gonna have to bring back out Groudon and then show his final Pokemon, which if I had to guess is probably gonna be the uh Zacian, right? Yeah. Zacian. 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 How do you pronounce it? I feel like I say like both. Mix it up. I say Zacian, but I mainly say Zacian. Zacian. Zacian, I feel like is the right, right way to say it. He's going to set the drought. We do have a little bit of speed cooking with us. Just a little bit of speed cooking with us. Just a tad bit. I think, uh, how fast is Kingdra? Let me see Kingdra's speed. I know we're plus one. Let me see Let me see your speed, Kingy. Kingdra. Let me, let me see that speed real quick. See that speed, girl. girl. 132. I think what's called still outspeeds us, which is a little tough. Zacian might still outspeed us. I could go into an icy wind. I think we just outrage. Could definitely just outrage or i could bounce a dip shot but yeah you know what i'm just gonna outrage outrage into an ice beam and we should go from there. it's gonna be tough this is definitely gonna be a tough back end play yep he outspeeds me player off's gonna dump on me no problem and hopefully kyrie can outspeed just get off a shot onto ground on before he goes out go ahead kyrie i'll speed him he goes for blades and we dodge don't we oh that's lovely you'd love to see it ice beam's gonna fly send it baby give him some damage give me the freeze too in the drought give me the freeze Oh, could you imagine? <laughs> could you imagine? So we, we get off a little bit of damage, which is nice. And now who do we bring out here from here? Charizard? While the sun's rolling. We do have a ground move. We do have weather ball. Yeah, and the expert belt's going to help us out here tremendously. Who do we roll into? Char? I think Char's going to be your play. I'm going to roll into Char and go for a weather ball. Ill weather ball. A nice, lovely weather ball. But I feel like he's going to protect his ass here, right? 
and he's gonna try to drop a rock, but still, we have to post a star right here. So we're gonna go Weather Ball, we're just gonna keep dropping Ice Beams here. And again, I think he protects Assy and he goes into like a rock slide. That's gotta be his play, right? But still, we have to pose this threat with this Weather Ball. If we can land this Weather Ball, that's huge damage and I think it's gonna take him out. But this Stab, we have Extra Belt, super effective. Like, come on, come on. Big old damage, and we have the Drought damage too. It's just, dude, it's just huge damage all around. Let's see what he does. He doesn't protect Zassi, I, th I feel like we win this battle. But I don't think Zassian can take out my Charizard in one shot. And then uh, my Charizard can get off the turn. Because Charizard is going to be second fast on the field. Because his Zassian... Now he's going to protect you. Little bitch. Son of a bitch. See, I knew it too. And I was going to make the read. But still, Weather Ball's going to get blocked. Please miss the Rock Slide or allow us to eat this. Let's see how this one. Rock Slide comes through. Oh, yo, Charizard, eat it. No, Charizard's not eating this. He's dead, isn't he? Kyogre eats. You're saying there's a chance. You're saying there's a chance here. This one's going to be real close. Give me a freeze. Dude, I knew I should have. Even if I made the... I knew I should have made the read. Then Kyogre would or Groudon would have been dead. Wow. 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 What is the play here? This is tough. This is tough. Because how fast am I Zacian? How fast are you? Oh, no. He's, he's dead. He's going to die. He's going to die. What are we doing? We're going to lose. Wow. No way. This battle was looking good for us, too. I knew I should have made the hard read. I knew I should have made the hard read because I knew he was protecting. Could have taken out the ground and Charizard could have still been on the field. We would have been sitting so pretty. Um, got to roll into a bleed. I'm going to take out you. And then if I can get off a shot, I'd rather try to go for maybe like a thunder. If we can land it, we'll try it. We'll try it. See what he does. He goes for Behemoth Blade. Yo, Sassy, eat this up, please. Sassy, all day. This is, this is, this is easy eats for you, isn't it? Easy eats. Easy eats. Nah, yeah, yeah. I knew it. He's not full health, so he can't really do it. That's going to be GG's. That is going to be GG's. Wow, dude. If we would have made that protect read, we said it out loud. We would have made it. We would have won this battle easily. easily. But he's going to roll out with the blades with Groudon, clutch it up, and win the battle. Final battle coming at you guys, and we're going up against a no-restricted team in the Master Tier. So you guys know the deal. We have to win this battle. There's no excuse for us not to win this battle and grab ourselves a winning record. Going up against Urshifu, Heatran, Regilecki, Rillaboom, Alola Ninetales, which is pretty cool. I guess it's just there to set up the Roar Veil. And then last but not least, he's rolling out with that lovely little Cinderace. Okay, how should I go into this one? How should I play? I feel like Sableye's a great lead. Just set the sun, kind of get after the battle that way. Charizard could come in here as well. Charizard could come in here as well. Just Sableye Charizard or Sableye Venusaur. I feel like Charizard would be a little bit better. We have ground moves. We have a uh, Weather Ball. We have a lot of different options here. So, yeah. You know what? I'm going to roll into them, too. And then pop off with Kyogre and Zacian. Right? It's just too good. It's just too good. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. Let's grab ourselves a winning record for today's video. Like I said, no excuses for this battle. No excuses for this battle. But something I forgot to mention. I've been mentioning it in all my videos. Your boy partnered with SCG. I'm a proud partnership with them. Lead content creator. Lead content creator. Blah, blah, blah. Let, me, let, let me restart. Lead content creator over for their esports organization and we're bringing you guys five percent off choir which is their merch store and all that good stuff links down in the description below and ten percent off rogue energy so if you guys are looking for something to sip on while gaming head down link in the description below rogue energy ten percent off with code short circuit same thing with the choir code short circuit over there but i want you guys to go follow all them on all the platforms because we're gonna bring you guys extra genes content giveaways and all that good stuff link is down all in the description below. so go check it out do me a favor go follow them on all their other content but uh we're gonna get rolling here he's gonna lead reg lucky and what's that a little boom I can't even see. It was Red Zalecki and uh, Sinrace. Okay. It could set the sunny day, which might have to be a lovely little play. Could quash. Oh, 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 oh. I could quash. I'm leaning towards quash. Lean towards quash. I'm not even lying. I'm leaning towards quash and going into like a, a quake. Or I can airstream, get a little bit of speed, which I'm kind of leaning towards. You know, which can quake. I probably should have max strike, just slow him down a little bit, but we'll take this play all day. He's gonna dynamax Cinder. It's totally fine. That's totally fine. Because I can alley switch next turn. If I, I don't I don't have to set the sun if I don't want to. I'm just gonna quash that thing. I do not really want Regilecki just doing work on me. I'm gonna hope Regilecki's not focus ash, which probably is though. Or it could be magnet. We never know. I was gonna quake in the Cinder race, but I knew it would outspeed me, and that would be a problem. Unless I quash it. I probably should have quashed it. Yeah, if I would have quash it, like, what would Reggie go for? An E-Web, a Thunderbolt? My G-Max Charizard would be able to eat that up all day. And then we could just Quake. Get some work done. Get some big old work done. 
But he's going to Dynamax in the race. I think he's going to airstream for, for a bit more speed. In that case, like I said, I can quash it next if I really want to. But we got to hope that's the like he's not focused on us. We're going to end up quashing this little booger. Look at it. Come here, dude. Let me quash you up. Let me pet you up. You're going to go last. This move was postponed. He's going to go for the airstream, and thank God it did. Beautiful. Beautiful. He's going to airstream probably my Sableye at this point, right? My Sableye alone. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. I can still, oh, I can still ally switch that extra. Ooh. I can ally switch that. Unless, unless he's, like, like I said, unless he's going for, god dang, what's it called? Let's go for E-Web and he has to focus Ash. No bueno. We no bueno. We're going to quake here. How much damage? We're definitely going to bring it down to Sash if it has, but hopefully not. Let's go. Let's go. That's huge. That is enormous. No Sash for him. I can freely ally switch next turn. I really don't think I need the sun, right? The sun would benefit him a little bit, too. With fire really not about it. Really not about it. Really not about it. I can, I can always quash him. I could quash him. He's going to go into Nine Tails. And now I could set the sunny day. I'm kind of leaning towards it. I don't feel like dealing with a roar rail. I really don't feel like dealing with a roar rail. So you know what? I'm just going to go into an airstream into this. Change up weather. I'm not allowing him to set up that roar rail. It's the last thing I want. <laughs> that is just the last thing I want. We're going to go here. And we're going we're gonna to chip up some damage onto that, uh, that sin race. Plus, we'll do a lot more in the sun. Yeah, I, I just, I'm just not dealing with a roar rail. I'll, cha I'll change up weather all day. The Nine Tails comes out here. We're gonna change the weather. Bang. Sun is popping. Sun is popping. He's gonna go for max darkness. That's totally fine. He's gonna switch his typing and he's going to. What's he gonna do here? He's gonna go after my Charizard? I would think he's going after my Charizard, right? Yeah. He goes after my Charizard. Should be able to soak pretty well. Beautiful. We have health that and Charizard should go next. And I think Charizard might be faster in Cinderace after this uh, issue. We'll see. It's gonna be kind of close. It's gonna be kind of close. But Buffett's isn't gonna take out my boy anymore. And he goes for a Blizzard with Sableye dodges and Charizard. Oh! The weather change. Beautiful. We love it. It's a huge turn. It's a huge turn. We go into the airstream. It's damage. Solid damage out there. Solid, solid damage. And at this point, I think I just ally switch. I think I just ally switch and get rid of, uh, who do I get rid of? Cinderace, right? Yeah, we might even outspeed it, but I'm not too sure. Let me see. Let me see your speed real quick, Charizard. Let me see your lovely speed. What are you sitting at? 167. See, that's like at the point where it's just like, I do not know if Cinderace is Incineration might be faster, so I might just go into the, the simple play. I could quash, but I feel like Alice Switch could be a little bit better here. Quash ain't too bad. We're gonna quash just in case he, he predicts an Alice Switch. And then we will just go into a uh an airstream. Let's not play all day. Take this thing out. Get it get him on out of here. Quash is just a simple play, you know. Oh, he changed typing. Oh god, he changed typing. I totally forgot. Wow, Ally Switch was the play. Bro, he changed typing. I forgot. Wow, that threw me off big time. That threw me off big time. Change typing like that? Okay, I'm so cool with that because I still have my uh, Dacian and my, uh, what's called, in the back end. Dacian Kyogre. Wow, change typing big time. Blizzard does connect here. He's going to take out Sableye. That's rough. That's rough. But again, I still feel like we're thriving here. I really do feel like we're thriving here. Now we have weather. We have my boy Sassy coming in hot. Coming in ridiculously hot. It's gorgeous. And we're just going to send our launch. We're just going to start spouting. Spouting everywhere. Dude, that's so rough, dude. <laughs> I was like, wait, why is it quash working? It was just like, it doesn't affect the most. Oh my god, he changed the dark type last turn. And prankster does not work on those dark types. Those little boogers. Those little boogies. This little dark type boogers. That's what's cool about dark type. They have that like little, little niche right there. Like it's just like a little something that gives them a little bit of edge. That prankster doesn't work, which I love. But yeah, we're definitely gonna drop this water spout. And I still got Behemoth Blade here, right? Cinderace isn't gonna be able to take me out. I think we're thriving with this. We're gonna go for the Blizzard. Who dodging it? Zassine dodges it. Kyogre can soak that all day. As long as he doesn't get the freeze, I'll cry a little bit if he does. Thank God. Pyro Ball's gonna come in hot. He's gonna change fire and. Psh we soaked that. We in the rain. We we're in the rain, and now we're going to pick up some big old double kill here. Big old double kill coming in hot. Did a lot of damage, though. That did do a ridiculous amount of damage. A lot more than I thought it would. But still, I'm fine with that, because now it's going to turn into a 2v1, and my Zassian should be fast on the field, right? Correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The Behemoth Blade flies through here. Brings down Sash. No, not even Sash. Wow. Two Pokemon that I thought could be Sash. We're not Sash. We take out you. Water Spout's going to take out Cinderace, and yeah, we're thriving. That's gonna be GG's, right? 
like I said, we're not we're, we were not losing to a team with no restraint. He did put up a, a big fight, and and that's only because of what's it called? My mistake on not remembering he changed typing because I could have just perfectly Alice switched that turn and taken out Cinder. And then I could have still had my Charizard. It would have been money. It would have been money. We would, we would have been thriving. But yeah, we get rid of them. 2v1. Let's grab ourselves a win record. And it's really, really big. A little scary here. A little scared here. A little sc not gonna lie. A little scared here. In this case, I am just gonna protect the Kyogre. I am just gonna protect the Kyogre. I could set up a Sword Dance. Oh, that would be lovely. Let's do it. Oh, we can just go. now. Let's just go into Behemoth. Because it should do more than half. Should do more than half. Should do more than half. Because he has two options. He's either Grass Guide into my Kyogre and get off some big damage. Or Grass Guide into my uh, Zassian, who should be able to eat it up all day. That's his two options. Unless he, like, high horsepowers into my Zassian here. Let's see what he does. But I really do think Grass Guide is going to fly across into my Kyogre, right? Look at that. Look at that. It's just such an easy read. It is just such an easy read. Behemoth Blade is going to fly. Like I said, should do more than half. And then we should. It's just, this should be pretty much GG's, right? There's another Itzy, like another Behemoth Blade should be able to take him out. Or Kyogre should rip into this thing with Ice Beam. Or we just one tap it. Or we just one tap it. That's fine. I, I'm cool with that too. I'm definitely cool with that too. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Another winning record for Sword and Shield. I want to give one last huge shout out to my boy Matt for tweeting me this team right here. Absolutely loved it and absolutely dominated on the rank ladder with it. And that leads me to say, if you guys want to leave me rental codes, like I've been saying, head down to the link in the description below. Go follow me on Twitter, Jeans YouTube over on Twitter. Go tweet at me, DM me, whatever you guys want to do, and get me your rental codes. I've been using a bunch of fans for rental teams. So hopefully, if you guys are interested in that, you guys head down there and send me your teams. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos get live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.